from the process of sketching, I get to slow down, I get to observe the beauty around us, which we often don't do enough. It creates a memory of the particular place that I'm in, the sights, the sounds, the smell. Uh, I don't ever forget a place that I've done a sketch of. Urban Sketches Singapore is the local chapter of an international network or community of uh, sketches who like to do on-location sketching. And uh, it was started by Gabby Campanario. And so in 2009, uh, Madam Tia, the founder of the Singapore chapter, uh, reached out to him and said, we would like to start one here too. And it started from like maybe just three people and then it became six and then 12. And today, in our sketch walks, we, we draw about over 100 people uh, on a monthly basis. Our sketch walks are usually held on the last Saturday of each month. You can certainly sketch on your own, but it's way more fun to be sketching with friends because you can chit chat, you can look at what tools they are using, you can look at their sketches and get inspired. So it's just way more fun when you are with friends. The sketches, you know, have always been quite close to one another because we share a common uh, passion. Yeah, so it's a very close-knit community, and very supportive. Uh, a very strong sense of uh, camaraderie uh, because of this thing that we do. Urban sketching is uh, more than a hobby. It's a community and it's a family. I chanced upon Urban Sketches online and in the year 2013, I joined the group. It's very important to try different perspectives and viewpoints. Of course, you are sketching on the spot and decisions have to be made on the spot on what to sketch and what to omit. I personally want to include more foliage and greenery in my sketch. We find urban sketching to be a really unique way of capturing our world, right? Because when we sketch, you know, we're forced to slow down to observe uh, the surroundings carefully. Uh, the way the light hits a building, the shadow it creates. Urban sketching can help you rediscover places that you have been to, places that you are familiar with, and allows you to actually see those places with new eyes. And so one of the things we love doing is uh, capturing these fast disappearing places uh, before they're gone. And so what we focus on is not just buildings. A lot of people think urban sketching is about, you know, sketching architecture and things like that. It's not. It's about capturing a moment, a time and space. One of the things I love doing is to capture people serving others in the background and putting them, you know, in the foreground uh, and tell their stories through my sketches. Since I discovered urban sketching, I find sketching outdoors to be very rewarding. Now, I tell my students to go out, see the true light and the color nuances. Get a 360 degree view of the place. Try to capture the world in your interpretation that nobody else can have. I started sketching with pen and charcoal. When I wanted to move into color, I wanted something similar to oils and manageable outdoors. Gouache is one medium which gives you results somewhere in between watercolor and acrylic or oils. But changing mediums is not always easy. It's a daily practice for about six months for me just to get to know the medium and to hone my craft. Still, experimenting and persevering with my skills is very important in my journey as an artist. One advantage digital media has over traditional media is you can actually undo. So if you make mistakes, you can just redraw again. And you can also draw a lot of things, try out different variations of the same scene very quickly without using too much paper. One tip I have for beginners is not to bring too many supplies. The tablet and stylus is very convenient. I can just open up and start drawing and if I'm done, I just pack and go. So sometimes digital can be a bit more convenient, but personally, I still prefer drawing with traditional media because it's just more fun to create art with physical media. It is always important to know the child's interest and don't be too technical in the start. Engage them with different materials and let them experiment and gain confidence to show their ideas. Later, help them to develop their ideas from scribbles and doodles into artworks which convey their experiments and emotions. 
Every student will have their own style, so it's kind of pointless to compare one student with another. And teachers should also remind students not to be too critical about their art because sometimes making art is about enjoying the process, the creation process. And remind students not to be too dejected. The more you draw, the better you will get. I believe one of the key roles of a teacher is to create an atmosphere of curiosity and discovery. So when we have this mindset, they find uh, it less daunting. And so when we do it this way, we we'll show them good works, good artworks done by good artists and inspire them. It is finding your own unique interpretation of the world around you. It's a way of capturing my world, the way I see it. It's like solving a puzzle, it's challenging, and when you see your sketch come to life on paper, it's very satisfying.